Hey guys, and welcome to QuickBooks Made Easy for Nonprofits, May of 2020. Quick tip, this tip is for online users. Uh, I hope you guys are surviving during these wonderful days of COVID, um, but let's not talk about that. Let's talk about a really cool new feature that just got released in the online edition, and it has to do with report titles. And let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go to, you're going to love this. I'm going to go to reports, and I'm going to run just a p and I'm just going to run a standard profit and loss. So if you notice, you see this title, mine says income, and then it says total income, and then underneath it, uh, you always see this thing that says gross profit. That's because if you have any cost of goods sold, that would be after income and before gross profit. And then the net supposed to be gross profit. But that word doesn't really make sense for nonprofit organizations. And the word expenses, you might want to call it expenditures uh, or some other title that you're more comfortable with. And then even down at the bottom, uh, net operating income and then net income. It's kind of like maybe you don't like those words. Maybe you want to call it revenues, less expenditures or something like that. So you didn't used to be able to change these titles in the online edition. And now, just as of like a week ago, you'll see this new feature right here. And it's on all of the balance sheet reports and the P&L reports. But you see it says edit titles and this is something that's new so I'm going to go ahead and click this and then what it basically does is allows me to change any of the old titles that are kind of default and put in new titles so I'm going to call income I'm going to change it to revenues uh, cost of goods sold isn't really in here so I'm not going to worry about it I'd like to make gross profit go away, but I can't. So I'm just going to call this uh, total revenues. Revenues. Uh, I might want to capitalize it. And then expenses, I'm going to change that to expenditures. Okay. And then net operating income. I'll just call this, I'll just call this net income. I'll call it net income from from uh, operations. I'll just, it doesn't really matter what you call it, but anyway. Uh, and then I think that would be it. Now, you don't have to worry about this other income or other expenses unless you have account types like that uh, that you're using. And ah, then there's net income down at the bottom. So I think I'm just going to call this total net income, I think is what I'll do. Total. There. And I'll leave the net income here. So that's kind of Cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click save, and and it says it's going to take a minute to refresh. Let's go ahead and run the report now that we've saved it and see what it does. There we go. So I re-ran the report, and now it says revenues, expenditures, and total. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this report. And I'm going to call it Profit and Loss New Titles. And I, I'm actually testing this while I'm teaching. It's all very exciting. I want to see whether this is something that only saves for this report or does it change the titles for all P&Ls. Now, I saved it for this report. So if I go to Reports and I go to Custom Reports and... Here is the P&L for new titles, and it's it certainly has the new titles. But let's do this. Let's go to a standard report, and let's just run a P&L and see whether it saved it for all P&Ls. And it did. Oh, my gosh. That is incredible. 
that's really cool. So what that tells me is that you can change it on one report and then it'll change it on all the reports. It also tells me that it most likely is in account and settings. So if we go to account and settings, this is where all of our kind of global uh, changes are. And let's see if you can get to it right in the account and settings. I'm betting you can. I can't believe I'm doing this while I'm talking to you live. Let's see if there's a reporting thing here. Currency, projects, I don't see it here. Categories, automation, I don't see it. Let's go to company and see if it's up there. I don't think it would be. It's interesting, you would think it would be here somewhere, but it doesn't look like that it is. I'm gonna check one more little place here. Let's see if there's something. I don't think it would be in custom form style, so it's really interesting. It looks like you do it at the report level. So just pull up any old report, do it, and you're good to go. So I think that is really very cool. It does work for the balance sheet as well. I guess I should pull up a balance sheet, and you'll see. There it is again, balance sheet. And there's where you can retitle those which is always nice because if yours says retained earnings, you might want to make it say net assets because that's what, that's what nonprofits call it. And we'll refresh the page and we'll just rerun the report here. It's another way of refreshing the page and, uh, ah, well this says net assets, but that didn't say net assets. Sometimes it takes a second. Let me try it again. Let me refresh the page like they told me to. Let's see if that made it work. Uh, let's see. I should sing for you. I always say that. Ah, it's still not working. That's really weird. I thought it would work. Let's see if I did something wrong here. Edit titles. Equity. Oh, I didn't change equity. You probably saw that. Control C, Control V. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Let's see if that worked. I'm sure it did. I did that mistake on purpose just so you could see it. There we go. Oh, look at that. Total liabilities and equity. It still says equity. It should say total liabilities and net assets. I wonder if I can change that too. I'm sure I'm driving you crazy at that at this point. No, it doesn't look like I can. It's really interesting. All right. Well, I think that gives me everything that I need. I've babbled on enough. And I hope that you come to my three-day webinar series where you can hear me babble even more, uh, which is happening in June. There's a coupon that uh, is a part of this little quick tips email, so you can get a little discount. And I will see you next month. Love, 